Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. Can you guess where I am right now? This might be a hint. It's a nice cave. So I'm here because there are a couple things I would want to show you at this location. First of all, it's related to an update for the mod recently, so if you haven't downloaded it yet, please go download it. These are the new escalator models. These are made by one of our builders on the Let's Play, Kira. Kira has designed these three-dimensional escalators so the steps actually move like they should. Unfortunately, you can see like with smooth lighting, there is a little bit of flashing. Let me turn off smooth lighting to show you what I mean. So you see smooth lighting is maximum right now. If I turn that to off, you can see it doesn't flash anymore. So it's just a small fix, I think. But if you want to check this out for yourself, please go and download the latest version of the mod. Wow, doesn't it look great? All right, so another thing to check out is these signs. Look at that. These are signs from the MTR station decoration mod made by Ida. And these have been added in the latest update as well. So I think I've never used these before myself. So I think if you right click them, you can edit the text. Yeah. And then these are like the signs you can put on top of the middle pole. Nice. Yeah, so these are the signs that are available. So the answer is I am at Kuang Chao Station, in case you were run wondering. But these escalator models have been changed for all existing escalators in the game. So oh, the entrance is over there. I keep forgetting. So if we go inside here. Hi, Andy. Andy's here. You can see that all the escalators have been changed to the new one as well. If you want, really want to revert to the old one, like the diagonal escalators with just the animated textures, then you can apply it yourself by making your own resource pack. All right, so since Andy is here on the server, we have traveled to Denthrop Station and we're going to tour some of his new stuff. And he said that Denthrope is still work in progress, and we are going to get on this train to Einsberg, I think. This is, yeah, this is the high-speed rail. I think I checked it out last time. To Einsberg Central. Wow, look at all these retextured Class 377 trains. All three of these trains are have a different livery. Okay, so the next station is Brick Parkway. So Andy says he has finally connected Twyfer to Einsberg Central. I need to check out the system map because I don't really remember where those places are. Alright, as you can see, we've gotten on the train at Denthrope and we're heading westbound on this 9ENS45 Einsberg line. The next station is Brick Parkway and then we're gonna head up past Ilford Island to Twyford, and wow, this goes far. Where does it go? All the way to Einsberg Central. Okay, I wonder where Andy's gonna take us today. So this is Brick Parkway right now, BP. BP reminds me of Boiling Point. We have Boiling Point in Seattle. It's a Taiwanese hot pot place, and on the wall there's BP for Boiling Point. Oh, am I supposed to get off the train? Okay, Andy's just gonna meet me at Ilford Island, I guess. Look, another Class 377. Alright, so let's take a look at the display. What is the next station? Ilford Island. Okay, cool. Oh, the server just restarted, but we're back. And I'm surprised I didn't, like, get off the train because of the restart. Alright, I think we're getting close. But maybe there's been some signaling jams or like the train has to wait a little bit. But I think we're here and Andy's here as well. 
Oh, look at that, BR423. The texture updated a little bit after the texture, or after the mod update. And it looks like whoever retextured that train didn't change the texture yet. Okay, are we staying on the train? I guess we are staying on the train. Wow, there's a window on the side of the cave so that you can see inside. I do that with some of my designs. I think I had one in Jonathan's Resort and Lei Yu Moon where there's a window. <laughs> oh, what does that say? Einsberg Railways. Nice. So these passenger information display systems match really well with railway signs because they come with the MTR station decoration mod. Wow, lots of trains here. It's really taking a lot of power rendering all the trains. I think that's what we discovered was the main source of lag at Spawn Station. It's just the amount of trains that it has to render. Which makes sense though. Alright, the next station is Twyford. And this part of the tunnel has like emergency platforms on the sides. Look at that. But it's like a block away from the train itself. I wonder why. Andy said the part of the train, part of this trip, the train will go outside onto the surface. So I'm kind of waiting until that happens. All right, look at that. Here we are. Are we getting off? Are we going to Einsberg? I think we're going to Einsberg. So just taking a look at the station a little bit. I know I've been here before. And it's... The architecture is really nice. I commented on these double curves last time. And just the placement of these station name blocks is pretty creative as well. I wouldn't have thought of doing something like that. I wonder if the train will go outside now? I think we're still underground. We're at Y11, pretty deep down. Okay, we'll meet Andy at Einsberg Central. If this was 1. Point, what was it? 17 or below, or 1.16, then we would be almost at bedrock level. But good thing this is 1.19, so the world height has changed dramatically, and so we can go way deeper than we used to be able to. I don't remember which version that the Minecraft world height got switched, but I do like the change. It really gives a lot of room to build railways like this. Oh look! We were in the tunnel and we came outside. We're back outside. Wow. I like going high speed on ground level so you can actually see stuff. But just for convenience, most high speed on the server, most high speed rail lines are underground. It's also easier to dig. You can just cut it out with world edit and not have to worry as much about breaking the terrain, messing it up. But for here, I see that Andy decorated the bridge a bit, so it makes it look pretty nice. And also cleaning up some of the terrain. If you just world edit out a whole chunk, it's not going to look good. That's also one of the things we look for when selecting builders for the Let's Play. So if you're interested, you have to make sure that you're good at world edit so that you can clean up after yourself and not just cut out a big hole as your station or as your tracks. I know last time I explained in detail how you can join this server, but it seems like there's always comments on every video asking how you can join the server. The answer is, please visit the Discord server. There's a channel called Let's play server info. Just follow the instructions there and you'll be on your way. Wow, look at these buildings. Yeah, if you want to see this for yourself, please come join us. Oh, there's another train over there too. Just coming into the station at the same time. Another class 377. The station names are quite high up there. Alright, I think we're supposed to get off now. 
This is Ruth okay, where do we go now? I think this is the terminus. Yeah, Einsberg Central is the terminus of this high speed line, as we saw on the system map. Let's take a look at the decoration. This is really, really impressive. Look at that chandelier. It's like shaped like. What is it shaped like? It's just an artwork. I can't tell what it is, but it looks really good. If this is designed after something, let me know. Look at this wavy roof with the different colored stained glass. Wow, I can never imagine doing something like this. My world edit skills aren't that great. Look at that, even this curve right here, the stained glass has different patterns. And it has stripes coming down to the bottom. And both sides just kind of curve up into a dome, the green dome up here. Wow. Really impressed. Okay, we also have these vertical platforms, uh, passenger information display systems. These came with the last update of the mod as well, so go ahead and download it, please. <laughs> okay, let's go down to the concourse. Oh, this is still work in progress, I think. But really nice job with the architecture so far. I'm really impressed by this stuff. All the, yeah, the lobby is still work in progress. But all the stained glass, look at this sculpture down the middle. And even these escalators with the chiseled stone. I'm very impressed. And then if we come out here, it's these small little decorations around here. On the road, it looks like there's a tram line down the middle of the street. But there are no arrivals right now. And then we have some buildings on the side. Yeah, this will be a tram stop here. So Einsberg Central, still work in progress to Depot Bridge. That's one of the stations on the tram line. But it's still work in progress, so I'm excited when that opens. Look at these windows using trapdoors to make the the cross. Okay, Andy says follow him, so I wonder where he's going to take us. Wow, there's more on the other side. Even the roads, look at the road markings, very detailed. Okay, what are we what are we looking at here? Here are more buildings, yeah. Honestly, in Minecraft, if you just build the exterior of the buildings and leave the insides empty, it's still much better than not having buildings. Oh, you're planning to have them for MTR quests. That would be great. Yeah, you can do challenges inside. You can make like mini games in these buildings. That would be a really good idea. I said I would make a series on the MTR quest and that will come soon, so don't worry. All right, so this is kind of like the edge of the city, right, so far? But so far, these buildings are looking amazing, and they blend in really well with the rest of the terrain as well. So good job with that. These are the tram tracks, I assume. So in the middle of the junction, the tram tracks are like at street level so that cars can go through. But on these dedicated tram lanes, it can dip down a little bit and it's okay because cars aren't supposed to come into this part anyway. So I think this is Depot Bridge maybe. I don't know. But I'm excited when this tram actually opens. Yeah, another mod that is really cool that's not installed on this server yet is the NTE mod. I think I've talked about this in the past as well. It's called the <laughs> Nemo's transit mod or something that adds 3D rails to the game. So right now these rails are just flat, but Nemo is very experienced with coding, with 3D models and stuff, and Nemo figured out a way to import them to Minecraft. So we can render these OBJ models, if you know that file format, and render them as the rails. And I thought it would be really laggy, but I was wrong. It works really well with Minecraft because Nemo went into very like low level rendering code in Minecraft. Even I don't really know how that works. 
and so it performs really well. Same with trains as well. So trains can also use that type of new rendering and perform very well and have really detailed models. So I'm really excited when that gets added. Oh, this is the next station on the tram line. And then we can oversee the high speed and the rest of the trains in the station. Wow. Yeah, I can tell it's work in progress, but I'm really excited about what it's going to turn out to be. This has very high potential and it's looking really good right now. So well done. Depot station. Yeah. Oh, look, we have the signs here as well. So the train station that way. Oh, these signs even have directions like northeast, southwest. I've never noticed that. Are they automatic? Yeah, they're automatic. So if you place them down, it automatically says which direction it's facing. That's cool. Although I guess if you can't read Chinese, that's that'll be a problem. So this is west, this is south, east, and north. All right, so Andy took us to the shuttle service, terminating at Reston Intermodal. So I wonder what this shuttle is. Do they run the class 377s? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it <laughs> seems like most of the trains on this network use the 377s, which is nice. I do like them. All right. Wow, even these displays have a little bit of texture modification. These are one of my best best trains on the in the mod, I think. Like the amount of detail on these trains are a bit higher than most of the other trains I've made for the mod. Okay. So we're heading to Reston Intermodal. All right, let's go to the front so we can see where the train goes. Next station, rest and I'm going to leave this here for a little bit. Oh, we're heading into the heading into the forest, going through a tunnel. We're speeding up a little bit too. These bridges are really well designed as well. They're not just like a slab down just like my spawn grand circular bridges. I should probably change those up soon. This shuttle is going fast. I'm not complaining, but it's fast. We're going through different mountains as well. And Andy spent a lot of time cutting out the mountains as well so that it doesn't look just like a world edit. But the tunnels actually have tunnel walls and different blocks with that. Going through some temperate highlands with some red trees, just like in red leaves. Actually, the trees in red leaves are spruce trees. These ones are more like birch, I think. We're slowing down. Are we almost there? Oh, looks like there's something on the left. Maybe it's part of another city. There's a lot of trains on this shuttle line, I just noticed. We passed by at least two trains just now. Oh, maybe that's a trolley bus line? I don't know, I can't tell. Oh, BR-423. So part of that update as well is that we added the vents at the top of the train and we added sounds to the BR-423 as well. All right, here we are. Is this a curved platform? Wow, I like curved platforms. They're just really cool to see in Minecraft because you usually don't see them. Yeah, this is Reston Intermodal. So what different modes of transportation do we have here? Okay, Andy needs to go. So I guess we'll explore by ourselves. All right, so it's daytime here as well now. I guess it'll be a good idea to check out the system map first. 
before I start just running around randomly. Okay, rest in intermodal. So the purple is the Reberg line. The Reberg line goes to Einsberg Central. All right. So it's connected to Redford Avenue. The West Fairview line is probably what we're seeing. So if we take the train to Fairview, this is Epic Puppies area down to Geneva Junction, I think. I'm not sure. But we can visit there later as well. And then here we have the L Lavender line and the M Murado line. I guess M and L are just the the names of the lines. The route numbers probably. So we can explore a little bit around there. Looks like the Murado line isn't running, so we have to check out the Lavender line. So it's probably this part up here. Ooh, yeah. So these use the... What are these called? Those are the Muni Metro trains from California, San Francisco, I think. I better remember to pay. So... These are made by Eric. I kind of saw them last time, but didn't get a chance to check them out. But these are really well done. I think Seattle uses a similar train type as well for their streetcars that no one really rides. <laughs> these are trolleys for the Muni Metro, or I don't know what they would be called, streetcars? Or are they actually metro trains? So these use as plug doors which Eric accurately modeled. They have a display showing what the next station is with like a next little stop, route map as well. So it'll be more like a dynamic route map. And then here there's like the a window, you can line. see the driver's cab as well. Eric did a really good job texturing this as well. I'm quite impressed. And the station, the station design looks a bit North American as well. This is I don't know, it just gives me the feel. Oh, looks like this uh, ticket machine got cut in half by World Edit. Alright. But these trains are really well made. They've He even has the light on top that that only glows out of the two sides. So Eric's telling me that Next we're waiting stop, for an update to the mod, mod where we can have different car lengths the in the line. same train. So right now all the trains have a fixed car length, so each car is only like 24 blocks for most of the trains and so on. But for these streetcars to work, the middle section is a bit shorter. So I, I think for this type of train, this is the end cars are... I forgot how many of these articulations there are, but I think there's like three sections. I forgot. But in either case, the middle car is going to be a different length than the end cars. So that's going to be an issue with the current system of how the mod works. So I will need to make a code change Next for that to happen. Yeah, this is the L line. L for Lavender. For this is really well done. Eric even has the root numbers on here too. And the dynamic display. So it looks like this part might be work in progress, I think. This is route Why are there diamond blocks there? Alright, we're pulling into this station. I think this is the last stop, right? Yeah, this station is- this oh wait no, there's one more station. One more station. I thought this was the last stop. Because we crossed over, right, from left-hand traffic to right-hand traffic. I don't know. This station looks really nice, even though... Even though it's small and narrow. I don't know, I like it. I like the style of it. 
Okay, so the next station should be the last one. I wonder if we're gonna go above next ground or stay in the tunnel. Okay, so we are going upwards. Wow, isn't this area just beautiful? It looks like there was a bunch of sightings there too. And it has pantographs for the whole, or I mean overhead wires for the whole section of it. Oh, there's a train over there. How do the trains get over? Okay, so this is a terminating platform. You're not supposed to get on from here, I think. So, when the train leaves, my guess is that it'll go back in here, and that's a turn back rail right there, and the train will come back out. That's my guess. Or maybe that's the siding. Let's see. Let's see what the train does. So it stops there, comes back out, probably a turn back rail then. Okay, let's go out. Actually the only downside is that if you didn't mean to get off at this station and you want to backtrack, you're forced to exit the gates first. So you can't just like jump back onto the opposite platform and continue going the other direction. Oh wow, there's another train here already. Quite frequent. Oh, uh, speaking of train frequencies, something happened recently on the Highway. Seattle light rail where there's construction going on above ground. So the station is down in the tunnel, the train tracks are down underground, and they're doing some construction above ground and they're trying to remove a clock from the surface. And the clock fell through the ground and into the tunnels. And <laughs> It, I think what happened is I actually made a hole through the roof or through the street and fell down into the tunnels. <laughs> so they have to close down one of the two tunnels and just run trains through a single track all through downtown from Capitol Hill Station to the stadium. So that section is all single track. So the headways are 30 minutes because only one train can go back and forth. And then the rest of the line, the, the other ends, have normal service. Normal meaning every 10 minutes, which is crazy still. So these trains come every one or two minutes. That's normal, but every 10 minutes is not normal. But apparently, for us, we're in Seattle, 10 minutes is already normal. Next stop, like West rush hour Seattle. frequency is 8 to 10 minutes, which is crazy. Look, did you see that? We just switched over from right-hand traffic to left-hand traffic. I wonder why this was designed to do this. I don't remember who built this line. I don't think it was Eric. It would probably be Andy or someone else. And I don't know why they have two platform rails here. Like, is there gonna be other types of trains stopping here? I don't know. On the dashboard, see, you can see 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. I don't know. Whoever designed this probably had a special idea. Okay, anyway, Next we're going back outside so we can see stuff now. Station for the line. So, yeah, about the Seattle light rail, it's gonna be like this for the next two weeks which is a long time to have 30 minute frequencies down the main part of downtown. So <laughs> that's very unfortunate and I'm very disappointed at how they handled it. But what else could they do? I mean, it'll be dangerous to keep running trains through, I feel like. But also they have bad infrastructure in the first place. So this kind of stuff is preventable if they designed it better in the first place, but Oh well, I'll just take the bus the when I need line. to go somewhere instead. Okay, so what station is this? We still haven't gotten back to the intermodal yet. This is Redford and Kipling. These are very North American style station names as well. 
In North America, it's very common to have station names of two cross streets. So, for example, if you're running on, let's say, I don't know, Pine Street, and then the cross street is Third Avenue, then your station will be called Third and Pine. Next stop, or, yeah. Avenue. Interchange station something like that. The, the next stop is Passengers Redford Avenue, the what? Line and West Redford line Avenue and interchange for the Murado line. Okay, so that's probably where we got on from. Yeah. This is an island tram stop. Right? And that side, Owl House, House Memorial. What is that? And you have to pay to go in. Let's go see. Make sure I tap off. Watch for the train and cross the street. What is this? Okay. The Owl House from Disney. I am not familiar with this movie or show, whatever this is. So, I guess you had to pay to go see it. But you can also go over the fence like this. <laughs> So whoever built this, you should probably put barriers here so that people can't just walk over like that. This side is fine. Okay. Alright, so I do want to go check out the other side of this as well. And look, there's another train. If this was sound transit, I would have to wait 8 more minutes, but good thing we're not. Okay, so the next station is East Portal. We're heading eastbound right now. You can see the platforms at the interchange here. I caught a glimpse of the BR-423. I'll take that next and go to Fairview and take a look there. Hmm, this part looks like it's work in progress again. <laughs> this left side doesn't even have a platform that I can get out from. So looking at the system map, we were, we're on the purple line, the lavender line. So we got off at Reston Intermodal, went to Redford Avenue, Went up to the left and back, and now we're at East Portal, Next we're stop, heading to Birch, Birch Cape. Cape and Sutton. So at Sutton, we can change the West Fairview line as well, and head to Desert Grand Central. So Desert Grand Central, we can get a bunch of Fairview lines, so I'm pretty excited about that. So the next train will come in just under a minute, so I hope we will make that train. Oh look at this station, Birch Cape. Wow. Nice design. I like the lines, where how the pillars connect to the top as well. It's really an art to design small stations as well as big stations. So, yeah, don't Overlook the small the station West because a lot of design line. goes into those as well. Alright, are we nearing the last stop? After Birch Hill, I think... Wow, okay we're <laughs> switching to right hand traffic just for this little bit. Maybe the trains just alternate between these two platforms? Or maybe this is just a turn back. I don't know. But I think this is the train we want to get, is it? Desert Central, yes. What a perfect interchange. Can you believe that? We just got off that cha train, and then we had a train here right away. Oh, by the way, these vertical passenger information display systems, there's two types. One type is like your normal passenger information display systems where it shows multiple arrivals. I think up to eight, so you can show a lot. But it just shows the destination, 
the time to arrival, the normal stuff. But the second type only shows one arrival, but it shows all the stations that the train serves as well. So that can be useful for local and express services, such as the Hanakoshi line that Forest has been building for a while now. So for examples like that, if you put one of those on the platforms, you can be like, oh, this upcoming train will serve these stations. That is not my train, so I'm not going to get on it. So that's the advantage of that. Because if the local and express both go to the same destination, you're just looking at a normal platform information display system, and they say the same destination. So it's easy to get confused and get on the wrong train. But with the vertical ones, you can see where exactly the train will stop at. So I do like that feature a lot. Good job, Epic Puppy. Epic Puppy, the person who built Fairview actually, they wrote a lot of code for the mod as well, including code for the vertical platform information display system. So again, please go ahead and download the latest update if you want to play with these features. Okay, enough talking about the update. But it's really exciting though. Okay. Alright. What is the station we're entering? I can't really see it while the train is still moving. Greater Hills Rockford. Alright. Nice station design. I know I like say that for every station that I pass, but really, I'm impressed. And these platform information, platform information display systems are customized. Look at that. They're customized using the Jobin client mod. They support adding your own textures on it. Alright, we're heading to Desert Grand Central, that's the next station. And it seems like we're going back underground for this. Oh, there's another train passing us. That's a long train, just realized. How many cars are running on this? Can't see, because the train is going through a curve right now. Oh, whoa. We just went underwater. Okay, I guess this part is work in progress. Good thing I have a glass helmet. Look at me. I'm wearing a glass helmet. That's from Race to Cyan Heights, R2C. But this part at least has a glass tunnel so that you can have oxygen inside. But that part, I guess they didn't make the slope yet. <laughs> So it was all underwater. Alright. So after Desert Grand Central, I guess we can just hop on a random train and explore the area. Oh, this part hasn't even been dug out yet. <laughs> even worse, we're clipping through blocks. Okay, at least we're rising above the surface. Right? <laughs> So I guess you can hold your breath for that little part of it. Oh, but this part, you're totally gonna cut through blocks. And I have no idea where I am. Can't see anything. <laughs> oh! I see my coordinates changing still though. This looks like a des desert. Savanna, actually. We're rounding a corner. I'm guessing we should be there soon. And I think this line isn't supposed to be open for people, but well, here I am. Oh, this part has a nice track. Oh, it's only this part though. And here we are, cutting through stuff again. I'm just gonna cut the video to when we actually get there. Alright, I think this is it. Desert Central. Welcome to Fairview. And it looks like we have the slideshow 
root lines on the ground here as well. Look, Sound Transit SP1900 train. <laughs> it's a mini too. I think that texture was made by Eric. Alright, look at that. Platform 5. Platform 6 goes to Reston Intermodal, where we were at earlier. We have these 3D escalators. Alright, where should we go? I also know that Fairview uses a lot of these vertical platform information display systems. So this is what I'm talking about with the one with only one departure and it tells you all the stations that the train stop at. Let's see if we can see more here. Yeah, so for example, this one, platform six stops at these stations. So the one that is next is platform nine to Geneva Junction. So that's this train right here. I think this is a high speed because there's only one stop. FX104 to Geneva Junction. Alright. I wonder how much of this is still work in progress. Like, are we going to be cutting through blocks again? Hopefully not. Oh, just when I said that. Actually, just reading through the Discord chat again. Reston Intermodal is probably created by Express Rail Fanner. So that tram route, I'm not sure if it's Express's line. But in any case, I like the station. It looks good. And it connects nicely with the other terminals as well. So looking forward to it as well. Next, I think I'm going to visit the light rail metro that Eric made because Eric was the one who actually made the Muni Metro streetcar models. And that line is also owned by Eric. So I want to visit that soon. We passed by that last time in Race to Sign Heights, but I didn't get to ride it because I, I had the other mod switched out. And so when I get got on a train, the train model would be hidden. So today I want to actually go and visit that again. Oh, this train is going relatively fast. It was at 200. And I think we're getting to Geneva Junction soon. I don't even know why I'm coming here because it's still work in progress. A lot of stuff here at Fairview is work in progress. And I think the orange line might be the most complete, but I'm not sure. I have yet to see what Geneva Junction looks like though, because I don't think I've actually visited it. Okay, looks like we have some signaling to wait for. I'm just gonna fly out to take a look because this part is work in progress anyway. Wow. What are these trains? Are these retextured MLRs <laughs> for the London Overground? Okay, so this is Geneva Junction. Station looks pretty good. I like these trains a lot. I know that I've seen these before probably, but just combining the MLR trains, like the, yeah, the MLR trains with a European livery, that's just really cool. <laughs> looks like there's a 377 here as well. I don't know what livery this is. It seems like people really enjoy retexturing the 377, which is cool. It's an easy one to retexture as well, I feel like. All right, so that's been Geneva Junction. Let's go take a look at the light rail metro line. So, Last time I think we went to Winter Swamp Bay, like when we were racing, we went to Winter Swamp Bay and then we went, we were trying to go to Zuidbai Railway Station. Okay, so I'm gonna start at Taiga Marsh this time. 
Actually, yeah, I think I was at Taiga Marsh last time during the race. And so I'm gonna start here and then make my way through the line all the way to Zood by Central. I need to do this line justice because last time I just kind of walked through and didn't take the train. So we have one minute till the train arrives. You can see again, these vertical display systems seem to be quite heavily used on the server. Platform 2, one minute. Zood by Railway Station stops at Winter Swamp Bay, Siberian Mountain, Pine River Village, Riverside, and finally, Zood by Railway Station. So I think the red carpet means no entry for the escalator. Oh, also another thing about these escalators. Kira added a third block state, which is stop. So the escalator is going up right now. If I right click it with a brush, it goes down. If I right click it a third time, it stops. So you can pretend that you're a sound transit if you want, because their escalators are always broken and have the escalators just stop right here. And then you right click again, they'll go up again. So you can cycle through those three states. So pretty useful if you are into doing that. Wait, I wasn't at this station. No, I must have been at Winter Swamp Bay. It just looked really similar at the exit. Okay. <laughs> I must have confused myself. This actually reminds me of Pioneer Square Station in Seattle. Just the design of the walls and the curved roof and then the two sides. <laughs> I don't know why it reminds me of that. But of course this station is nicer than any sound transit station that could ever be built. Just the, even the facilities, having working passenger information display systems, Sound Transit doesn't even have that. Okay, here we are on the train. Notice that these come in, these come in groups. Right now the, the mod doesn't really support groups very well, so Eric has just done what he could with the trains. Meaning that each segment or each train is composed of two car sections. So that's why you can see a driver's cab here and a driver's cab in that car as well. And they're merged together like that. Because there's no car that has gangways on both sides. That's how these streetcars are. There's actually supposed to be a third section in the middle as I mentioned earlier, but also the mod doesn't support that yet. So in reality, I think these streetcars are supposed to be comprised of three segments, the end, the middle segment, and another end piece. And if you want to train, make the train longer, then you would combine these three car sections into a longer train. So you would have a three car group, and then a three car group, and then a three car group, and so on. But right now, because of the mod limitations, each group is only these two cars, as you can see. So Eric did a really good job just migrating that over to be compatible with the mod, and I will make sure to make a fix for the mod soon. So we just passed winter... what was that? Winter something. So the next station is Siberian Mountain. Alright. So I'm assuming this whole line is probably like a snowy biome kind of thing. That's why all these names are like cold theme names. Cold biome names. Wow. This station has a really interesting block palette. I don't even know what blocks those are. That's how out of touch I am with Minecraft updates. So that is wax copper, wax cut copper. So if you put them together, you get this nice pattern like this. And what is this block? Strip jungle log. That color scheme actually goes really well together. And the station color itself is also that reddish brown color. So the station name blocks have that color, which matches really well with the copper. All right. 
Let's see what the next station is. River Village? Seems like we're moving on to some warmer biomes. <laughs> not, not exactly sure though. Wow, you can see a lush cave from here. And then this station is also underground. I like this roof design too. We've got birch planks and then oak wood planks on the sides with spruce logs on the walls. <laughs> so many cameras. Why do you need so many cameras on the platform? I don't know. <laughs> They're like pointed at all angles. Seems a little bit extra. <laughs> All right, where are we headed to next? Riverside. Okay, Riverside. So yeah, Winter Swamp Bay was the station that I forgot the name for. Siberian Mountain, Pine River Village, and then Riverside. And then after Riverside, oh, Riverside, you can change to this Yellowstone River Shore cable car. I remember riding that in one of the episodes. The train's going really slow around here. Maybe it's just because it's rounding the corner. Wait, did we pass Riverside already? Maybe when I was looking at the system map we passed it? Oh wait, no. This is Riverside. Oh, it's one of those stations where the train backs out, I think. <laughs> it's a creative design. Ah, wow, look. Eric even has pictures of his streetcars. I really want these streetcars to be added to the main mod. I guess they're called cable cars, actually. Yeah, but I really want Eric to add these to the main mod, but I don't know if he wants to. I feel like it'll be a really nice addition to the mod itself. But that's up to Eric. He's welcome to choose whatever he wants to, but I really like these posters on the side. <laughs> it's really, really a nice decoration, especially this station is an interchange for that. Really advertising for people to go ride the cable cars. I really want to go ride them again, but I don't know if we have time in this episode. We actually checked out so many things. And it doesn't feel that long to me, but it's already been like 52 minutes on the video. So... Oh, there's another train as well. Where does the tracks actually split to the other part? Or did I miss it already? I think the tracks just branched off. Now we'll be at Zudbai Railway Station. Right? Yeah. So here we are. I hope you all enjoyed the ride. I really enjoyed the ride. And let's check out this railway station because I've not been here either, I think. Look at these just birch, birch wood walls. Oh, we've got a fair saver here. You can save $8 on your next ride. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. Okay. So, train to Taiga Marsh. Okay, that's for the trains that we just took. Oh. I guess this is also like very much work in progress. But I really like the architecture though. I think I've commented on this before too. Oh, look at these buffers using lightning rods. Very creative. But yeah, look at that. We have small curves along here and we have these big curves here and they're not like circular curves they're kind of slanted on the sides and then curve and then flat and then curve and then down whoever built this i really like it it's very modern it feels like almost like a spaceship let's take a look wow and then the edge of the roof is also curved out like that too Wow, lots of detail. We've got these little pillars here and arches. Well done, well done, whoever made this. So back on the system map, 
We have the Kowloon Commuter. Oh, Kowloon Commuter. <laughs> Ridge Side Line, River Side Line. So, Kowloon Commuter, of course, goes all the way to Kowloon. And it goes to Denthrope on the other side. So we just went through Denthrope earlier. We basically went a big circle, I think. We went from Denthrope up to Einsberg. And then from Einsberg, we took the shuttle, the Reberg line. And then we took the Fairview line. Actually, we took the Lavender line first to Sutton. And then we took the Fairview line. And then we took Fairview Express down to Geneva Junction. I guess we didn't go in the circle because we just skipped this part and then went straight to the light rail metro. So we almost went in a circle. We kind of went up, 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 and then back, and then down to Zudbai Railway Station, where we are now. Okay. All right, so I've made my way back to the station here. Remember, I tapped on that <laughs> $8 thing, the fare saver. So I decided before I end the video, I do want to pay another visit to the Riverside station where we can catch the cable cars. I like it so much that I want to go see it again. So here we are back on the train on the light rail, light rail metro. So the next station is Riverside and we're going to get out and interchange. I also want to see where the track branches or merges with the other branch because the train just turns back at Riverside, it kind of backs out, backs out and keeps going. So I want to see where the other track merges in. Oh, Telekiwi, one of the visitors is saying, oh, here's the branch. Yeah, Telekiwi is saying that Ikthus is a really nice place. So I have to go check that out another time as well. Some of you mentioned in the comments that you don't really prefer me doing part one and part two of an episode. When it gets too long, you prefer if I did separate videos. So I think I'm going to try doing that again now. Unless you all have different suggestions again, I'm willing to listen to your suggestions in the comments. So my fare was still $1. I don't know why it didn't count. So let's test it again. The $8 discount in and out. Still one dollar fare. Okay, anyway, not gonna worry about that. Maybe there's like a minimum charge of one dollar anyway. So, cable cars looks like it's lift only. Maybe it's too deep underground that it'll be more convenient to just have a lift down. Nice. Okay. One minute. Wow, good thing I didn't miss the train. No trespassing onto the tracks. All right. Oh, here comes the train. I'm excited. I just like the train models. It's really well done again. Just like the other trains that Eric has made. All right, here it is. We've got the red train. So in the San Francisco cable cars, I think they also don't have doors. So you just jump on like that. I do think you have to buy tickets though, but I don't remember. I've only been to San Francisco one time and I don't think I've taken the, the trolleys here. Wow, the texturing is really well done. All right, so I'm just gonna enjoy this ride while I say bye to you all. Make sure you tune in for more episodes. 
So thank you so much for watching. I have toured a lot of places today again. Oh, there's a blue train. Greenish train on the side. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. And make sure to comment down in the comments where, what you want me to do next on the Let's Play. And if you want to join the server to see stuff for yourself, please join the Discord. All the instructions you need are on there. So, I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna enjoy this cable car ride and I'll see you next time. Bye!